Okay, up here in Canada, we get a lot of snow and we can't let that stop our RCing. So here's just a couple of pointers on how to make a snow track. Uh, mine is right here in my backyard, wherever you choose to make it. I've been trying to do this for the last couple of years, not a lot of success. Uh, last year being the exception of massive amounts of snow. But here's a couple of uh, helpful tips that uh, will hopefully uh, help you with your RC track. For one, uh, lay out all the stuff that you want first. So I have just here a tabletop that's set up just so I, I know it's a marker point. Over here I got some ramps, uh, two going one direction, one going the other direction. As you come over here, I just got a small speed bump. Um, we've used this with, for our nitro vehicles in the summer, but it just gives it a nice obstacle when you're turning the corner. Uh, another thing that you're going to want to do is first before you even, I mean, you lay down all your obstacles where you want it. I did this uh, pre-snow, so this way I knew where, where I wanted my track to be. If you're building this in the middle of winter, you may not have this option. So what I suggest is try to put them down first if you can. Uh, if not, lay them down where you want to go. The next thing you do, take your car and or your truck and run the course that you want to run. Run it uh, as much as you can. See how far um, how the car drifts. See how far the car drifts around the corners. This or that. Um, uh, set up your jumps where you need. Whatever you need to do. This way it will kind of map out where your course is going to be and how you want to lay it out. Last year I made, uh, again we had so much snow, but I made the course way too narrow. So every time I went around a corner, I was always putting it into a berm, always putting it into a snow bank. The course is way too narrow. Make it as wide as possible. Uh, the idea of this is this way you can actually use the entire track. And as winter progresses, you, you're going to have to put the snow somewhere. Uh, leading to that, the snow. Make sure that you take the snow and you pile it to the outside of your course. Don't put it on the inside, put it on the outside. The idea behind this is if you pack too much on the inside and you're standing anywhere, you're not going to be able to see your truck or your car that you're racing around, uh, around your track. So you want to make sure that you always keep it to the outside. That being said, as that builds up, um, the, the odds of you going off in the snow and having to retrieve it is going to be a lot less. And that means a lot more RCing, and that's a lot of fun. Uh, lastly, shovel, like I said, shovel all your snow out that way. Try to make it as even as possible. Uh, last thing you want is footsteps in your track. Nothing will stop you dead more than footsteps. Uh, again, when you're trying to race, you want a lot, you know, you want to have fun, uh, less turnovers, uh, the better. Another thing that you want to do, um, put snow around trees. Again, another thing that will stop you pretty darn fast is a tree. Apparently they don't like to move in the middle of winter. I know I don't. So, do that. And last but not least, maintain it. Uh, depending on how much you want to run, I like running my RCs a lot, so I tend to use my, backward, uh, my backyard uh, quite a bit. So, maintenance is really up to you. As you can tell, it's snowing right now, so... Uh, this is a, a perfect level of traction and non-traction. I have four-wheel drive and two-wheel drives. If you use a four-wheel drive, you, you don't have to maintain it that much. Your, your four-wheel drive will walk through it. Uh, but I enjoy running my Rustler and other two-wheel drive vehicles. So you have to have the appropriate tires, uh, possibly put chains, spikes, whatever you can find. Uh, hopefully it won't damage your track while you do it. Anyway, so that's just kind of a quick overview on how to make your RC uh, snow track outside you'll probably see more videos it's not the most exciting videos but i'm going to post maybe some of the highlights or maybe some of the fun stuff as the winter progresses you can only do so much out here uh, the fields get tons of snow uh, construction spots it, it gets to be very limited where you can run so unfortunately my videos aren't going to be as fun i do have some videos from the summer so i'll probably be putting those on anyway i hope you found this uh informative and i hope you build your own rc snow track post them up and let's see different tracks i would like to have a couple other ideas on, on what i can do out here lisa and i will be racing out here so hopefully i'll get some uh, footage of that too anyway take care thanks for watching bye now mm, bye now
Wrong button. I always do that. <laughs>